again to Quickies. This is Ted. Today I am at the International Marietta International Film Festival. And uh, today I'm talking with uh, actor slash filmmaker Jack Carney. Good evening or afternoon or whatever it is where you're at. <laughs> so, uh, Jack Carney, what got you into film work in the first place? Oh, I've been writing forever. And what's funny is my mom still has a book that I wrote, directed, I mean, a book that I wrote and bound for her in first grade. And by the time I got to about sixth grade or so, you started writing stuff for, you know, plays and things, and you end up acting in them and whatnot. But really, writing is the, the foremost thing. It's what I base everything on. And every good television, film, everything starts with a script. So if you don't have a good script going, you don't, you're not going to make something good out of a bad script. You just can't. Would we find you on IMDb? You would find me on IMDb. I have six short films on IMDb, and we're about to release the web series NoirTheSeries.com. And I've done a couple of rewrites that are not something that I get direct casting um, credit for, but in there as well. So yeah, go look me up on IMDb. Would we, uh, do you prefer film or theater or both or what? I'm going to have to go with film. That's my my genre or whatnot. I mean, I enjoy plays, there's a lot of good plays, but like I said before, I could probably think of five or six plays that I would say are my favorite plays that I would go see again in a second, things like Wicked or I don't know, almost anything by Andrew Lloyd Webber. But films, God, I could think of hundreds and hundreds of films that I would love to see today if we wanted to take some time and watch them. So absolutely, but film, I'd have to go film. So what's been your favorite project so far and why? Um, you like different projects for different things. Sometimes you just figure out which crew works for you and that works out okay. Sometimes you like the makeup, like we had some makeup for this, Morningstar, where we had um, Aaron in full devil makeup with the horns and the, the fingers and everything in the red paint. It was outstanding. So anything that goes down calmly. I mean, I've had shoots where I literally had two tow trucks in one day. So anytime where things go smoothly and nobody gets hurt and you get everything you wanted in the, in the can, that's a good day. Right, so what do you think of Atlanta becoming the next Hollywood? Atlanta is already on its way to becoming the next Hollywood. I think the only thing missing is just the rest of L.A. when they run out of water, they will come here. As long as our state legislature doesn't screw up the bonuses that we're getting and the tax rebates and things like that, they're helping this industry grow. I think it'll continue to grow. I think we have a chance to actually overtake in uh, L.A. in the long run because of the differences in the cost of living here. These people that I think they're doing great in those million dollar mansions out here, come out here and see what you get for a million dollars. You can buy three mansions. So what are you filming as of right now? I am working on the pre-production for the next episode of Noir the Series. It's our series that's a tribute sort of to it's like Twilight Zone. We're even shooting them in black and white. And this next episode is called Morris. It is loosely about a cat in a old folks home that can actually tell when people are going to die only with a twist ending of course. What would you be doing right now if you weren't doing film work? Probably lawn work. Oh, you don't mean today. No, I would always be writing. I, that's, that's, I can't stop doing that. There's, I'm getting ready to publish, self-publish a novel, there's books and things. Writing is always just storytelling in some way, shape, or form. There's just no getting around that for me. Even if it wasn't film, it would be some other medium. Who would you say are your Hollywood heroes? I love a lot of good directors that are doing well. Soderbergh, uh, Fincher, although I lost a lot of respect for Fincher for doing a remake of Girl with a Dragon Tattoo. I mean, the original was a fantastic film. It was only a couple years old. I'm going through a lot of old directors now, and I'm watching a lot of Eli Kazan stuff. And you, you appreciate different things for different people. Some people are really good at getting um, great motion out of actors. Some were brilliant at the way they used the camera. So there's so many different things for different people to try to just narrow it down. You know. But there are some people that are doing some really good work. Even even Ben Affleck, I'd like to give some props because I think he's actually become a better director than he is actor. And I hope he starts spending more time behind the camera than in front of it. So any particular Hollywood people you want to work with in the future? Oh man. A lot of people I'd like to work with. I mean, there's directors I would like to work with, like I mentioned Fincher and Soderbergh, just to watch them work. I did get to do some day work with uh, Soderbergh when he's here doing um, Contagion. I got to do some extra work on that and just watch him work. And uh, a lot of good people, a lot of good actors. I, I, I like some people that are like bad boys, Ed Norton, um, Sean Penn, those guys. When they when they really commit to something that they're into and they take it seriously, they're on. And they're, just, they're just unstoppable forces. And, you know, like Daniel Day-Lewis, like, um, there will be blood. 
let's face it, the movie was kind of weird and the ending was terrible, but you couldn't take your eyes off your screen because of the performance of Daniel Day-Lewis, the guy's a fortunator, and any of those type of people that can bring that kind of performance in, that's who you want to work with. If you get somebody that gives that kind of performance, then you did your job. They can bring out what you had in your writing, that's what you look for. So where do you see yourself years from now? Uh, what do you see yourself doing in the future? Um, counting my Oscar wins. <laughs> um, hopefully still in the business. I was, you know, for, I'd like to write more than anything else. The directing was kind of a necessity to kind of get myself out there. But generally speaking, if I'm still in here and I'm writing and you know, people are enjoying the scripts and films, and that's, that's got to be okay with me. So on that note, anything to leave us with? Anything to uh, plug or uh, any movies or websites to plug? Well, the, the new one is the website for the web series, noirtheseries.com. That should go live at the end of this month, May. And also uh, the regular Jack Company website. And I also keep a YouTube site that you can keep track of stuff for the Jack Company. It's spelled J-A-X, um, just to be different. And really, go out and do something creative today. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Jack Carney. And this is Ted, and this is Quickies, and uh, we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye. Bye, Ted. Bye, Ted. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye.